a two owner four winds 5000 23 foot little class c just came in here at haylet rv of coldwater michigan 48,000 mi did i mention that anyway 48,000 miles if i didn't um let's talk about the scary stuff first let's get that out of the way and if that's a disqualifier i get it that's why i talk about those things right away right up front so that no one has to really worry about it um, you know, where I am not a bait and switch salesman, I am not the type of guy that hides things from folks. Let's get this all open, you know, open the uh, the channels and clear the air. So, it has had a spot of water damage in the back. I didn't really overtly detect it. Um, it looks like maybe there was a cargo rack on the roof in the back. Perhaps I got overloaded or something, I'm not sure. It is, by all accounts, in great functional shape today. It looks like that was addressed. Uh, the second owner, she had it for a long time. Um, they used it to hook up a bumper pull horse trailer, and this was their, uh, their runaround, uh, to do, like, you know, horse, uh, shows, events, things like that. Um, they traded this in on a big living quarter gooseneck horse trailer here, and they're getting a one-ton truck, basically. So they're just kind of swapping things out a little bit. Now, it looks like there may have been some kind of impact up in this corner. It's since obviously been repaired. Um, I can see a little signature of that on the inside. But I don't see, like, like whatever happened, they got it done immediately. They had that fixed. They didn't let that sit and rot. Now, both on the door side, next to the door, and on the face of this slide out, there is what's called toad skinning. If you look really close, let me see. Okay, you can maybe see. It's hard to even see with the camera because it's so minor. That is how out of the way I'm going so that you folks know exactly what you're getting into. What it is is it's not from a leak. It's delamination, but it's not a water delamination, it's heat delamination. Kind of like if you steam a stamp off an envelope, that's sort of what happened here. The heat beating on this over time caused the gases in the laminated wall to expand and it caused the skin to just bubble a little bit. Um, manufacturers, once they started seeing that out there in the marketplace, because it's something that takes years to show up typically, once they started seeing it, they realized they needed to build their walls a different way. And thankfully, this is not a problem that plagues us in today's new RVs. It's something that I still see on some used ones. Um, obviously, you got your old hitching. It's got a brake control set up for towing and everything. It's all set for that because that's what they used it for. I was up and down the ladder. I was glad to see the ladder wasn't busted, as is the case with a lot of uh, things. Um, roof looks good. It's got uh, Max Air roof covers over all the vents. So uh, anywhere there's a ceiling vent, you can leave it open, even if it's drizzly, you get some good airflow. Um, You've got your own in 4000 generator over here, and you do actually have a propane connection for an outside grill right there. I haven't personally fired this up. My understanding is that everything's in uh, pretty good shape and working order. Tires look good. Uh, those are uh, definitely not the original factory tires. Those things look pretty sharp right there. Let's step inside. Right when you walk in, you're greeted by a huge, huge closet. Um, that is, I mean, there's never... I, I say that I talk about this all the time never too much storage in any RV but that's awesome because I've seen versions of this floor plan before coachman had a really popular one for a while um, Jayco had one sort of like this for a while and they always have crappy storage this is the best storage version of this floor plan I've ever seen now this is also a deeper slide out from what I've seen so if you do want to flip that down into a sleeper um, you know you're not obstructing the rest of the living area now there are seat belts there for sitting and traveling looks like this window shade maybe has seen a little bit better days but say la vie it is what it is um, I mentioned on the inside I could see some signature of potential impact I don't believe that's water damage because that is a stress fracture. Something impacted that uh, that area up there. My guess, though, is whatever happened, I think the fiberglass just got indented and they had to kind of bump it back out because it looks like they had to pop that ceiling panel down a little bit to do it or the wall panel up front, basically. But it's okay. You know, this is not the end of the world. I do see... A little water signature right there, but like I said, I mentioned that outside. Again, I like to just talk about the scary stuff, get it out of the way. Uh, the This is on a Ford E450 chassis, um, Triton V10 power plant, which is a gas engine. The, that engine is absolutely awesome. Um, I, I mean, we see that up in big Class A motorhomes, and it just rocks. It gets the job done. Easy storage below the dinette benches with those doors as well. And I like this little... 
V-shaped, this wedge-shaped cabinet here. So the upper bunk kind of has its own little thing going on. You could use that like an alarm clock shelf or TV shelf or whatever. That's probably what that was. It was be a, a spit-around TV shelf. That's the early, I bet this is the grandfather of those spinning entertainment centers you see in travel trailers. These cabinet doors don't match. They look like they have been replaced because that is not the wood tone, and nor would that be the insert that this factory would have used. That has a very western flair to it, which makes sense since these are horse trailer folk, which also helps explain the take off your shoes or you'll get the boot sign over here. Nothing wrong with that. Funny. It's kind of funny. Well, uh, let's see. We kind of talked about the sofa, making sure I don't miss anything. I like the slide windows all the way around. That's sharp. Um, this has a great kitchen. A lot of little mini-ish homes. Usually the kitchens are garbage. This is nice because it has pantry space. That's something a lot of these kitchens lack is good kitchen storage space and nice prep space. You know, it's, this isn't the biggest kitchen in the world, but this ain't the biggest coach in the world. This will get you through a weekend, though, and you're going to feel just fine about it. Also, very nice bathroom. That is another thing I've seen some of these things is have really crappy bathrooms at times. Ah, there it is. I I knew I had to miss something. Obvious water where it did have a water leak back here in the past. Again, it's dry. It's not leaking currently. It's been there, though. Um, the, and, you know, we're, we're probably not going to go through and fix that for the dollars and cents that we're asking here. Now, again, if that's a really big, important item to you, I totally understand it. We can do that kind of stuff, but... We like to try to have something for every budget. And with our current uh, volumes of business, um, our, our service team isn't looking for work by any stretch. But if that's what we need to do to get this in, in your driveway, we can certainly put a quote together. We can look at it either way. Whatever you need. We only do everything at Haywood RV, so take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.